You may have heard of cursed dolls or cursed hotel rooms. Things that humans have built or created are usually what spirits, demons, and ghosts tie themselves to when evil behavior occurs. But what about the natural world? Have you ever heard of a cursed tree? Welcome to the Crafty Cryptid, a channel dedicated to the dark, the strange, and the mysterious. If you enjoy this content, subscribe. I post multiple videos a week. November is here, but the chilling content has not changed. Let's dive into the Devil's Tree. It exists alone in a field in New Jersey, near Bernard's Township, just off of Mountain Road. Rumors surround this tree and, if you speak to anyone in the nearby town, they almost certainly have their own stories about it. The most notable legend involves a farmer that allegedly killed his entire family and then went to the tree to hang himself. Numerous suicides and murders have also supposedly occurred around the tree, and anyone who tries to cut it down comes to an untimely end. Many attempts have been made over the years to fell the tree, as evidenced by scars from axes and chainsaws all over the trunk, some appearing to be quite old. Why has no one yet been successful in taking down this old oak? Are they, perhaps, interrupted by some ghostly or demonic presence before they can finish? Some say that the souls of those killed at the spot still linger there, and even provide the area with an unnatural warmth. In the winter, no snow will fall in the area. It isn't just the souls of those who are slain who protect this tree. According to legend, the Devil's Tree is so named because it is actually a portal to hell. A sentinel guards it. He drives an old black pickup truck, and should you venture near the tree, he will chase you down with his car until you reach a certain point. You will see headlights one second, and then the next. Nothing. The car is just gone. Legends of the origins of the Devil's Tree reach far and wide in Bernard's township. But they aren't all old stories. There have been several documented supernatural experiences in recent years as well. One person reports that when they visited the Devil's Tree, there was a six-foot noose hanging from the branches and claw marks from either a person or a large animal. When this person and his friend decided to climb the tree to remove the noose, they began to hear noises inside the tree. The noises grew louder and louder, until they ended in a big bang and a flash of light. A burst of energy came from the tree's trunk and sent the two men flying through the air. When they hit the ground, one of them broke his ankle in two places and needed treatment at the local hospital. Another person reports that when she and her friends visited the Devil's Tree, going so far as to touch its trunk, they left and went out to dinner, where they discovered that every person who had touched the tree 
were left with black marks all over their hands. According to this woman, it took them two and a half hours to be able to scrub the black soot from their palms. Weird NJ also has a story from an anonymous reader who warns not to mock the devil's tree if you ever go visit. I am reminded of an incident which occurred about eight years back when I was in high school concerning the Devil's Tree. We had all heard the legend of this infamous spot, and there was much talk of it around my school. One night, my friends and I decided to pay it a visit and see for ourselves how true the legends were. We headed out and came upon the tree. We all began to have very bad feelings and decided to scrap our idea of actually getting out of the car and approaching the scene. So we turned around and left without incident. About a week or so later, the talk of the tree began to escalate, and one of the kids in the popular crowd began saying that it was all a bunch of bullshit. This guy and a carload of other rowdy types decided to go up to see the tree that weekend. A friend of mine was in that car, and his story is as follows. After cruising back and forth several times, the kids were getting bad vibes and wanted to leave. The kid who was driving, and who was the one proclaiming in the school that the story was bullshit, became angry at the wimps for having bad feelings. He stated to his friends that he was going to prove once and for all that the story was nothing and that he wasn't phased by it. He pulled his car over on the side of the road, right before the bend, and got out. Marching up to the tree, he began yelling challenges to the so-called spirits. Nothing happened. So to further prove his fearlessness, he pulled down his pants and urinated all over the base of the tree. Still, nothing happened. He muttered an I told you so and got back into the car. After starting the car, he began to drive toward the bend in the road slowly. Suddenly, and without warning, the gas pedal of the car became floored, and the car sped up all by itself. Surprised at what was happening, the guy was unable to control the car, and it skidded out and collided into a tree. The kids in the car sustained minor injuries, but the car was totaled. I showed the stories of the Devil's Tree featured in the Weird NJ magazines to my sister. As I read the tales aloud, she became very pale when I got to the part about the headlights which follow you, then go out suddenly. I asked her what was wrong, and she replied, Oh my god, I went up there about a year ago, and got chased out by the same black pickup truck. It was severely tailgating me, and when we got a short distance away, the lights were just suddenly gone. She and I have never gone back since then. Have you had your own scary experiences at the Devil's Tree in New Jersey? If you haven't been there, do you ever plan to visit? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. To be notified when I post next, click subscribe and ding the notification bell. I post multiple times a week. Leave a thumbs up and a comment for the YouTube algorithm if you like this content. Thanks for watching, and come back soon, cryptids.